Previet, good followers of Tolstoy on YouTube. This is um, Tolstoy Kropkevsky, and uh, I have, as you can see, my airsoft goggles on. But, but, I've already cleaned up the laundry and put it in my gay-looking little hamper at the end of the room. Thus, that can only mean one thing for you, mugs, which is yes. In fact, I do have an airsoft review to do today, and you know what that means? Everyone, dance! actually selling that as a workout tape. So, if you want to buy that, go to www. And no, mind. Okay, um, so I have me an airsoft review to do, um, and it, it, it's over here. On my thing over here. Come with me. Okay. Woo! So here it is. I think someone might have actually said this uh, uh, right as I, after I had bought it and prepared to review it. It's really weird. It is a uh, Crossman Premium Soft um, Airsoft Pulse R76. Now, notice that they like to call all their guns the Pulse instead of what they really are, like modeled after. Now, you're going to be tempted to say AK-47, but in the name of God, do not say that. And I can actually give you a little history lesson here, because I actually did my research, and even the Milson weirdos can't argue with me. I have a radiator! Um, uh, okay. Even the Milson weirdos can't argue with me on this one, because I actually got into an argument in the seventh grade about this. The AK gun... The original AK-47 had efficiency and safety issues, which the company creating it, and the original, I don't know, Kalashnikov creator, decided to fix, and they kind of upgraded it in the same sense that, like, the PSP went to the PSP Slim. It's like, he didn't really radically change it, but they fixed a few things, and he called it the AKN. Then he did the same thing, and he made it a little bit smaller, and called it the AK-74. Finally, they made, I think, like, they made it a lot smaller, they did something, but basically now you have an AK-74U, and I do believe that's what this is. I've played enough Metal Gear Solid, just trust me on this one. So, as you can see here, I got me this airsoft gun. It was actually in a brick-and-mortar store, not on the internet. I was in Dick's, and believe it or not, I saw this several weekends, or I saw this one weekend, and then I came back the next weekend to take a look at it again. All gone. All of them. They sold out like hotcakes, and I asked them when they were getting more, and they didn't know. This was the last one on the shelves months later, and then I decided to go for it for the unhandsome price of $125. Stop cringing. Um, yes, I am, I am completely out of money now, but it doesn't really matter because... And never mind. Um, okay. You look at the stats. An impressive 375 FPS. It doesn't feel like they're lying about that when you fire it, but we'll get to that. Um, power electric thunderbolts. And, um, you have full auto and semi auto. And that's, of course, just standard. If it didn't come with that, there'd be something wrong. I don't know why they printed it on the box. Yes, it came with a little ammunition. Um, well, let's take a look inside the box. Oh, and as you can see, collapsible stock. Yeah! Um, if I could just open the box. Here we go. Maybe the lighting should have been better. It's just so not sunny today. Open up box. Oh, great. The box doesn't want to open fully. Alright, I'll have to brace it with my hand. As you... Excuse me. Maybe I have to just bend it backwards. There we go. Okay. So, as you can see right here, the charger is right here, even though it's not supposed to be. It's actually supposed to be right here, but I actually took it out because I had to get, demo all this stuff. So, yeah. But, um, anyway. So, here's the, uh, the charging cord. And the little charger box, and it charges from about minimum of four hours, maximum of six hours. I cooked her for five hours, and she seemed pretty good. Here's the clip. It holds, um, a lot. Like, you know, whatever. 300 to 500, I forget. Who really cares? Obviously, it's bent. You can hear the BBs rattling around in there. It's plastic or tin. I can't really tell. I can't tell if it's metal or plastic, but it still feels very solid, so very nice. Um... Comes with a rifle sling. This one I'll actually probably put on there because it's a rifle and it actually does have some weight being solid metal. Um, but let's actually talk about the rifle itself. If I can actually somehow pull that out. You know what? Let me put you back where you were on top of the PS2. Alrighty. Woo! Okay. So here she is in all of her glory, the AK-74U. Um, what's there to say about it? Okay, first, you notice its shape. Uh, solid metal, rubberized handle right here. 
Uh, mostly metal down here, metal, 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 metal everywhere, plastic part up here. But for the most part, feels very, very solid, although very heavy for, uh, you know, being made out of steel. And Oh, nice rubberized handle. Mm. Okay, so um, besides that, uh, you have certain features on it, which are you got this little Amy doohickey here. I don't even know how to screw with the aiming and adjust the aiming, but I don't think I'd ever want to because I've looked, I've done precision shooting through this little thing, and yeah, this thing is already calibrated very well. It makes you know precision shots very nicely, even from a distance. Um, of course, you have your folding stock. You have to depress a button, this button right here, on this side to loosen it, and then it will. Just kind of hang open like that, you bend that down, and then there you go. So now you're done, you know, I mean, yeah, easier to demo from back here. So now your gun is, you know, ready to be held like that. Um, besides that, okay, you have, what was the other feature that was neat? Oh, right. Yeah, you know, most of this is, for the most part of this is, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, just for looks on most of these airsoft guns, the cocking mechanism, of course, reveals your inner chambers and a hop-up button. I don't know why you need to hop it up, but I'll get to that later. Right there. It's a little switch. You can't see it. So it can make you feel like you're really cocking a gun before you go to kill people. Now, here you got your switch here to go from... Uh, here's what's interesting. You, can't, you don't go from safety to semi-auto. You go from safety to full auto to semi-auto. Semi-auto sounds like this. Uh, of course. Full auto. Hold your ears, people. Doesn't really sound impressive, but when I first charged it, 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 it sounded sound like a demon was inside there. Um, the top is actually where you hold the battery. This whole little top chunk here is the battery hatch, and you depress this button when you want to open it. And it's a little bit easier than the uh, Galaxy MP5K, but that's kind of like saying it's a little bit better than being raped. Um, no, seriously, the battery, the battery is still kind of a biatch to get in there, get in and out and charge. Um, it's still a, a lot better than... Well, it's, it's a little bit better than the... Uh, um, MP5K, but on the other hand, it's, um, I, I, I don't know, all my brother's rifles seem to work on those brick batteries, and this is the long tube one that's hard to mess with. Um, okay, so you're probably going to want to see some demo shots, um, so let's do that.